112 years ago today, James Malin Stewart was born. He was not only one of the most iconic actors of the 1990s, but he was one of the most determined and nicest persons out there. Undeterred in his path of becoming a Hollywood star, he achieved this despite his father asking him to leave his dream behind. And it's better that he didn't. He won an Oscar for the Philadelphia Story, an award which he sent back home to his father. Two lifetime achievements, one from the Academy Awards and one from the Golden Globes. He also enrolled in the army, gaining weight in order to be eligible to join. He won a lot of medals for his heroics. He was named Man of the Year by one of Harvard University's performance group in 1971 and countless other awards for his acting career and for his other actions. In this video, I'm going to do a top 5 of the best James Stewart movies. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, drop a comment as well. I'm Valentin Jeffords and let's get this top 5 underway. A man who has played in quite a few westerns, he has said that a good western movie has to give you a sense of the world and some of the qualities those men had, their camaraderie, loyalty and physical courage. And those characteristics can be found in the western roles that he has taken, such as Broken Arrow, Destry Rides Again, but my pick for number 5 is the one that sees him explore a darker character, so I chose Bend of the River. In this movie, he plays Glenn McClintock, a tough cowboy with a questionable past that protects a wagon train of homesteaders and he ventures into Portland to procure food and supplies for the people from the corrupt officials of the town. This is one of the 8 movies that Stewart has done with director Anthony Mann that started with Winchester 73. It's a movie that keeps you on your toes with every step, it is truly one of the greatest western movies of all time and holds a perfect 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Next up, we're gonna look at some romance movies. Whilst he doesn't have as many movies in this genre as one, let's say, Gregory Peck, he has still played in a couple of very good romantic stories. And you can choose the shop around the corner or you can take it with you, but I think that there is no better option than the role of Mike Connor, the role that won him the Oscar for Best Actor in The Philadelphia Story. A tabloid reported that only does this for the money, he becomes attracted to one Tracy Lord, who was about to remarry her ex-husband. She was attracted to him as well and has to think better about her choice. The fifth most popular film when it came out, it is another one that holds a perfect rating on Rotten Tomatoes. For the number 3 slot, I choose a movie that is a bit weird and that is Harvey. In this one, Stewart plays Elwood Dowd, a middle aged man who has an invisible 6 foot rabbit as his best friend. His, his family consider him crazy because of this and they even try to commit him to a mental institution. In this comedic, light hearted movie, Stewart pulls out one of his most finest performances with many people lauding him. Number 2. A freaking collaborator with Alfred Hitchcock, you could throw a stick at one of the movies that these two have worked together in and still find the masterpiece. Movies such as Rear Window, The Man Who Knew Too Much and Vertigo are an amazing viewing experience, but I'm gonna go with their first movie together and that is Rope. In this one, he plays the former professor of two young men who decide to murder their friend in order to make the perfect crime. They seem to have taken the details of the crime from their former teacher, played by James Stewart, who begins to suspect what has happened when he is invited to a small party by these two men. For the top spot, I've chosen It's a Wonderful Life, and what I find so amazing about this movie and James's performance is that this is the first role that he took after coming back from the war and contemplating a retirement from acting. It really was like riding a bike for him. The definition of a feel-good movie, Stewart plays George Bailey, a frustrated businessman who gets to see how the world would be without him. One of the best movies ever made, you are definitely going to love this. A true model citizen, James Stewart has given a lot to the cinema history and he will be remembered even a thousand years into the future. Now, it's time to watch one of these movies of his in order to celebrate him.